Rescuers raced against the tide on Wednesday off the Australian island of Tasmania to try and save some of the estimated 470 whales stranded in a sandbank. That's hundreds more than rescuers first spotted earlier this week, making it a record event. Tuesday saw a mammoth of over 60 workers and volunteers trying to refloat and free the animals. 25 were freed, but officials say some beached themselves again, drawn back to shore by the tide. Government marine biologist Chris Carlian gave an update on the rescue mission. Um, we're not at a stage where we're considering euthanasia at this stage. The animals that are still alive, um, we think we do have a chance uh, with those, um, given that they're wet, they're cool at this stage, and, and we're pushing ahead with, with rescue at this stage. The pod of long-finned pilot whales were first spotted by air on Monday. The stranded pod were believed to be about half the size. But then late Tuesday, more whales were spotted. Nick Dicker is regional manager of Tasmania's Parks and Wildlife Service. They have detected around about another 200 uh, in a couple of bays, uh, probably 7 to 10 kilometres away uh, from the stranding that we've been working on. Scientists do not know why whales beach themselves, but they say when the animals travel in pods, they're known to follow a leader and gather around one that is injured or in distress.